Thanks for staying with us for a roundup of the day's major business news developments. My colleague Sidhan Sibal joins us with Finance World. Sidhan, it is that time of the year again when people pour out of their homes to shop for precious metal and utensils. How is the mood on the eve of Dhanteras? Well, it's a festive move and uh, tomorrow is Dhanteras, the first day of the five day long Diwali celebrations and people of course are going out and buying a lot of, uh, lot of stuff uh, including utensils, gold or silver. We have a story uh, lined up in the finance world but let's take a look at the top lines. ONGC board approves issue of one bonus share for every two held, announces interim dividend of 4.5 rupees a share profit rises 6% in the second quarter. Service tax department to auction liquor baron Vijay Malia's corporate jet of now defunct Kingfisher Airline to recover dues of 535 crore rupees next month. Department invites global online global bids for the sale of corporate jet Airbus A319 station at Mumbai International Airport. And market send in green Sensex gains 79 points to close at 27,916. Nifty ends flat at 86. 15. Well, Finance Minister Arun Jaitley today said that urban centers have become important engines of growth and India will have to go for rapid urbanization in the next two decades. The Finance Minister was addressing two-day forum on the theme of promoting sustainable urbanization in Asia-Pacific. For this meeting of the Asian think tank, these urban centers have become uh, important uh, 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 centers and engines of growth as far as those states are concerned. I do envisage over the next uh, two decades that India will have to go in for rapid urbanization. The excitement of Diwali festivities is warming up the environment as we head towards an electrifying weekend to celebrate Diwali. The first day of the five-day-long Diwali festival, Dhanteras, is on Friday. That's tomorrow. Let's take a look in the special report. In a bid to woo customers on Dhanteras this Friday, the city markets are all decked up in multicolored lights and decorations. Traders have filled their shelves with latest goods and are all making efforts to meet the demands of the customers. The first day of Diwali celebration is celebrated as Dhanteras. The day is dedicated to originator of Ayurveda and the teacher of all physicians, Dhanvantri. People generally buy gold, silver or some utensils on the occasion of Dhanteras. People perform pujas and follow other rituals to celebrate the occasion. Diwali ka time is coming, generally traditional jewelry is more than that. So, sometimes long, long temple jewelry, more traditional necklaces or chokers are going on. Handmade bangles are going on. My taste is normally an inspirational kind of a jewellery. I don't like something which is very common and you know, very bharavdar now, but it should be something very classic. Like for example, what I'm wearing. I actually see jhumkas and chanbalis, so that is my interest. The gems and jewellery sector, which had a lean year till now, is also hoping to make a killing on Dhanteras. Gems and jewellery retailers are expecting around 25% growth in sales during Dhanteras considered auspicious to buy precious metal compared to last year due to good monsoon and pent-up consumer demand. Coupled with our wedding season which is almost around the corner, Dhanteras is considered the best time to buy wedding finery and gifts at discounted rates. Malls to have geared up for the festival day with offers to attract customers. Automobile industry is also expecting huge sales on this day. With inputs from Mamta, from Mumbai, Sidhan Sibal, DD News, New Delhi. Well, worried over circulation of fake currency notes of 500 rupees and 1000 rupees denomination, the Reserve Bank of India has asked public to make it a habit to examine the notes before accepting them in the usual course of transactions. So how will you recognize a fake note from a real one? Well, uh, we can have the graphics, well, the 500 rupee note 